Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I want to talk about K-Swiss shoes today. It's the first time I'm testing K-Swiss shoes and I'm testing two pairs, the Ultra Shot 3 and the Hypercourt Supreme. And the Ultra Shot 3 is this one. This is a little bit the heavier shoe made for durability. I find the comfort to be very impressive with these. I can say that straight off the bat, just from the first walking down the stairs, I put them on uh, before I went to the tennis court just to feel them out a bit. And I just felt great from the get go, no real break in for me. Around the fit, I would say it's a true length, a kind of medium width. The arch is slightly low and the breaking they say is light, but for me it was kind of nothing. The weight of the shoe is on the heavier scale. Uh, I didn't feel that on the court, I feel okay with these pretty fast, but they are 434 grams and that is on the higher range. And that's for 45.5 size. I have 42 and a half or something like that. I, I like kind of everything about this shoe. I much prefer it from the Adidas one uh, that I did test, uh, which is also very durable and stable. The, the, the one issue I would say, and maybe this is a personal issue for me, the way I use, as, as you know, that we're all different and the way we use our shoes and and stuff is, is all different, but they, it's already starting to wear and tear a bit here on the, the side here. And I don't know really why or how, I haven't been using this, them for a long time. Overall, the wear looks completely fine, but, but on the sides here, uh, maybe this is me, but it, it seems to material, it seems quite frail uh, when it comes to the, the fabric uh, in some cases. The rest here is absolutely fine. Soles look like this, used on hard courts. These are all court shoes, very good grip. I have no slippage, I had no knee issues at all with these. I have some sensitive knee, like a constant knee problem, but it hasn't really made itself felt with these shoes. So these are one of my favorite pairs of tennis shoes I've tried in, in of all time with the stability, the comfort, hopefully good durability as well, although this thing irked me a little bit, but I really like this K-Swiss Ultra Shot 3. Uh, that makes your foot feel really snug and in place doesn't come with any kind of sock, sock system, which I kind of prefer. And there is some technical stuff that I will put in the video because I'm not a shoe expert. And when they throw out these uh, things like, you know, Surge 7, you know, Dura Mesh and stuff like this, I get a bit lost with tennis rackets. I can figure out because it usually means weight added or foam filled. But with shoes, I'm a bit of a noob. So there are probably better channels for shoe reviews, but I can tell you what I think about these. And these are some of the best stable, fitting, comfortable shoes I've tried uh, on a tennis court. And I've tried quite a few shoes. Uh, it's just that I'm not so technically versed in uh, all these things like drag guard. But it, yeah, it doesn't really drag. It just doesn't really irk me in any way. It doesn't feel like too tight in the heel or anything like that. It's just solid and, and just does the trick. So for my foot, um, slightly narrow, perfect. It's really been the perfect shoe for me and I hope they stay durable and uh, remain with me for a long time. Next up we have another shoe in the lineup. It's called the Hypercourt Supreme. There's also an Express one uh, but this is the Supreme with the red sole. This is very good durability and sliding on clay courts. They're not as good as on hard courts because they make this uh, skidding sound like it uh, doesn't sound great when you're moving in them on a hard court but on clay courts they're absolutely fine. They're made more for clay. Uh, I didn't know if this was all court or not, to be fair. Uh, it did seem like all court, but it might be more, more for clay. Osta rubber outsole in herringbone tread pattern. So this is the idea to create traction, durability on clay courts. Uh, aggressive movers they talk about. They have the Surge 7.0 in the midsole uh, for return on the step. I did feel like the heel got a little bit into my foot uh, on this shoe and the comfort wasn't quite as good. It felt a bit firmer on, on the foot and uh, not as, as quite as damp and then as comfortable as the Ultra Shot 3. Uh, so I didn't like these shoes quite as much. It has some kind of sock design uh, into it to create a more secure fit, but I felt like the fit was a bit, a bit too tight for me at times. Uh, but the increased support might be some player's cup of tea, although I found enough support personally in the, in the Ultra Shot 3. Not sure if durability is, is better or worse with these because you already see uh, some parts where the, the fabric starts to tear a bit. Uh, and I usually take decent care of my shoes. Uh, I do try them frequently and uh, I do put the, some, some stress on them, but, but the fabric on these shoes seem a little bit less durable 
than on other shoes I've tried actually because they, on the side here it starts wearing a bit so that would be a concern for me otherwise uh, pretty comfortable and uh, feels a little bit too stiff for my foot they are lighter though so it's easier to move around they also have a slight break in according to tennis warehouse europe and the, the width and the arch is kind of a medium so it's kind of a medium shoe uh, but i just felt a lot more comfortable in the cyber shot it just felt like it worked better for my foot uh, obviously you need to read other reviews if you're buying a, a shoe blindly it's always best to test the shoe like with everything if you can but it's it's tough but yeah for me the the cyber shot 3 is the winner because of it's like straight on comfort so some k-swiss shoes definitely worth trying and very positive about my first experience with k-swiss normally i use head or asics i've used nike vapors uh, adidas the, the new one the new Adidas barricades, which are on the heavy side, same as the Ultra Shot, but I prefer the comfort of the Ultra Shot, while the, the barricades feel stiffer and also a little bit heavier in general, I think. The sponsor of this episode, the Singles Playbook from Fuzzy Yellow Balls, teaches you tactics and plays and strategies on how to conduct your game against certain players, rallying versus aggressive bait liners, trench warfare, dealing with serving volleyers, pushers, there's video examples for each of these, so you get access to a website where you can study the video, follow the examples, and then start incorporating this into your own play. It's a great way to grow your tennis understanding. Have a look at the singles playbook. Uh, please also check out my other affiliates. The links are in the description, such as Player Court, where you can find a hitting partner or a coach. Uh, use my link, you get 50% off their service. Tennis Warehouse is where you buy tennis gear, shoes, and whatnot. Use my links, I get a small commission if you do. That's all, have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis.